So yeah, we got a nice room here, you know, and this is also what the brand is of the space. Um, the memberships are for people to come together like this and add to each other's network. That's what my brand is about. It's like, if you're in five degree separation of me, then that means that you either, you either need to be doing something great, thinking about doing something great, or helping somebody do something great, because we're all here to add to each other's network during this experience in life, right? So that that's the brand of Chloe's Corner, and you can feel that in the room, just speaking to all you amazing people. So like, battle rap, rap music is like my favorite thing, right? So I'm like all on the triple entendres. I don't even do doubles no more. I can't rap. So when I say I, I mean I be looking. So um, Brandon is actually like a triple entendre. So that's one concept of it, is creating those components, which, as he put it, is the DNA of your company. And experience is a double entendre. It's how you make people feel, but it's also what they, it's also learning along the journey, your experience. So your experience will cover finding out what the, the clients are going through, what they like, what they dislike. And then the experience that you create for them is what they're going through. So that's a double on that. The third part is actually burning it into the minds of people. That's when you when you become a brand. It's when you've burned it into the minds of people because you are a brand when the way you envision it, you're not a brand yet. That's just your vision. You only become a brand when you get co-signed by your community and they've accepted your vision. They've accepted, they promoted, and they understood it. So that's the third entendre. And that's why it's important to have a brand's purpose. So you're an idea <laughs> in the beginning but you're a brand once you're accepted by your uh, targeted market. So the first one was, as uh, I'm gonna steal your line, it's the DNA <laughs> of your company, which means it's the components and all the things that make up your brand for people to identify it when they come in contact with it. The second one was the creation of the experience, meaning your experience, what you're putting into the brand, and the experience that the customers and clients are having when they come in contact with the brand. And the third thing is acceptance. You are an idea at the visionary state. You are a brand at the acceptance state. But to brand actually comes from the process of burning livestock. So they used to burn livestock, property, and slaves so that people can identify who owned them. But when you think about the concept, that's how you know the ownership to this. So when you brand, you're telling people the ownership to this is the culture, the feeling, the experience. When you see that brand, that's what comes with it. It's to show that this is the ownership to that. So once you see a brand mark, which would be your logo, mainly that's the brand mark or the name of the company, you're telling the market that's the ownership to the experience, the culture, the products, the services, uh, whatever my brand culture is, my voice, what I'm offering. Once you see that mark, that's the ownership to that. So that's why they used to brand their livestock and stuff like that so you could know what company it came from. Also, another um, example of a brand is like a manufactured product that is mass produced, right? So a brand of something that exists in other places, detergent. Mm -hmm. Tide is a brand of detergent, although detergent is its own thing. Mm -hmm. So that's another example. Um, so, I mean, we like at five, a quadruple entendre at this point with brand. And I think that this is why branding is so confusing to people because the one word has so many meanings and parts because we just spoke about what a brand is. We didn't even get into branding, the process of making that happen. This is just brand. And once you understand and you identify your company in all five of those positions as a brand, then we can start talking about creating your brand's identity and then going into branding that so people know what that identity is when they see it. Also, there was one more thing I wanted to mention about being a brand. There's a difference between your personal and your business brand. So your personal brand is, of course, you. I answered a question this week. What is more important when it comes to branding, my personal or my business? And I'm like, they're simultaneously. Yes, absolutely. Just as important. Because the more, especially when you're a smaller company, and it works for big companies too, because we all know Steve Jobs and his story connects you so much closer to Mac that you're going to pay rent money for that Mac, right? <laughs> you're going to pay 
mortgage money for that Mac. And when you when you when you hear his brand story and what he put into it, it brings up that value. So it's just important to promote yourself as the CEO as it is to promote and market the company. And with that being said, it's just important to align your brand as the CEO in a public way, um, just as it is to do the same with your company. So what do I mean by that? Your brand is something I said this in um, entrepreneur.com when I did an interview. Branding is questionably the most important thing in your business because they tell you if you create it, they will come. If you make it, they will come. But I say no, if you brand it, they will know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and like. Stay tuned for my next video.